Welcome back guys and this time we'll be doing the last workflow in the PBR uh, pipeline which is the roughness map. So we've done albedo, um, metalness and this is roughness after this is the normal map. So what we can do is, uh, as you can see, um, this is white, the, ha the sword itself is white and the leather is black. So if you remember in the beginning of the series I said whites were defined as the smoothest surface and black was defined as the roughest surface so if that's the case we know the leather is rough and we know the sword is smooth so what we want to add though we just want to also test other things out so if I open up Google and just type fingerprints like so uh, that's a pretty good one. So go into back into Photoshop. Oh, let's top layer that first. Press W, delete all the white, uh, and then we can obviously fingerprints are tiny, but just to represent in the video, I'm gonna make them quite big, like so. So I'm gonna put some here, and the fingerprints on there. I'll put some here, another one there. Like so, and then I'll make another layer. And I've got loads of if you go online, there's loads of free brushes where you can find scratch marks. So, once again, I'm just gonna start. Uh, is it working? Oh, my opacity is really low. Hold on, there we go. So, just gonna add a few scratch marks into that, like so, and cracks. Oh. I'm gonna make that a lot smaller for these. One crack here, one crack there, oops. And then, as you can see for opacity, I might wanna reduce reduce the how glossy it is. And then once again, I might just drop that down. And then these ones I'll keep at 100. So let's just save as, I'll go on my desktop and I'm gonna call this roughness if we go into photoshop um call it png save as save as i was testing this earlier because i was having a bit of errors and stuff so now if i select this and then go into reflectivity go into sword and shields and it's under roughness not png like so as you can see, oh, there's there's a chance you might not be able to see. This is because the reflected color is not really doing it. So yeah, so if you don't see anything happening, what you can do is maybe just adjust a bit of the reflective color, just so you can get your marks. So then we can test, as you can see, look. Here we see our fingerprints, the fingerprints we added. If you can't notice it, look, I'll just forward it as you can see this fingerprint reduce it just a bit now we can see our fingerprint in the reflections more fingerprints here and then you remember the scratch marks we had remember it's a reflection so now right now we can't see it but if i turn the, the camera there's these marks on the sod which shows that it's worked yeah so that's fantastic right so what i can show you is um, the issue actually is uh, let's see how Arnold renders it out shouldn't be that good yeah it's not gonna be that fantastic but I can show you I tested this out in Marmoset and this is essentially what the sword looks like in Marmoset renderer and I was testing it earlier with the fingerprints as you can see it works really well um, so I'm going to actually use the latest roughness we just made. So we're going to go to here and then roughness, pick that roughness like so. Then we can, yeah, it's inverted, so that's perfect. So as you can see, so Marmoset Toolbag is a, it's like a, a game engine renderer. So it shows what the end product would look like in a game engine. So whereas Maya is more like a modeling tool, so it's not really specialized. This is specialized just for rendering. You can't really do anything else with it. 
So as you can see, the cut is much more deeper. The reflection is um, much more. Uh, there's much more marks and stains, stains, fingerprints. So everything ever did, our workflow is perfectly fine. So yeah, that's everything. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I hope you found this very informative. Have a good day and good luck.